The tropical rainforest of the Democratic Republic of Congo is home to the human-like animal, the bonobo. Bonobos are apes that tend to travel along with young and resemble humans with distinctive characteristics like how they are bipedal and like to walk on their back legs and how they reproduce. Three forestation, there are only about 10,000 to 20,000 bonobos left in the wild, but the true number is still unknown. In captivity, they can live up to 60 years, however, in the wild, their lifespan is 20 to 50 years. Living in such a magnificent forest, threats like poaching and deforestation can happen. Even though the bonobos are thought to be peaceful monkeys and vulnerable, they will put up a fight if threatened. In a tree, a mother bonobo sleeps peacefully, unaware of the danger that lies ahead. They're 98.7% of the human DNA. They have a lot of the same characteristics as humans do. Female empowerment is special for bonobos, with the females taking care of the young and themselves alone, and do not need the help of a male. Waking up to the fresh air of the forest, this bonobo mother goes to collect her children from the neighboring tree, relieved to find them all still there. She had to take shelter in a tiny wenji tree for the night, leaving her five babies and larger tree next to her. Bonobos won't usually do this and prefer to stay with their babies overnight, but there was an exception that night. Bonobos are frugivores and therefore prefer to eat fruit, but will settle on some flowers or fungus for food. They travel around quite a lot, so in some places there are no food to eat and will have to eat soil or bark. The bo this bonobo mother scouts out trees with sappho fruits on it, a usual delicacy in the rainforest. Holding a pile of fruits, she heads back to where she left her children. Leaving them with the food, she decides to explore this part of the forest. She stumbles across a glade area. Only seeing the trees and other dead animals on the floor, the feeling of terror dwells within her, a characteristic a human can feel as well. Standing there, staring at all the destruction around her, the mother heads back to her children and goes deeper into the forest. Deforestation is a big problem that is happening globally. It is not only affecting the bonobos, but all the wild animals of the rainforest are in danger. We must do something about this growing problem, or the future generations will not be able to see the beautiful and majestical creatures of today.